Hello everybody, my name is Natalie and welcome to another Pick a Card reading. As it is Christmas at the time I'm doing this reading, we have uh, three different Christmas ornaments to help you choose your group. Uh, now, just going through which group is which, because some of you may have already made up your mind already. Group 1 here has the reindeer, group 2 in the middle has the golden bell, and group 3 has the golden red bauble. Okay, as always, you guys can have a look in the description for more information, disclaimers, as well as um, where to book personal readings if you would like a personal reading. If you are attracted to more than one group, that's fine. You can sit through multiple readings if you wish. Uh, it just means sometimes that you have a little bit of a mixed reading between the messages of two different, two or, or three different groups, however many are in the video. So um, that's okay. As always, these are general readings, so take what resonates and leave what doesn't. Now, with this reading today, as we are going to do uh, your like what's in your week ahead type of video, and Christmas is coming up, so Christmas will be towards the end of the week, depending on when you're watching this as well. So that's why we've got our beautiful Christmas ornaments, so I wish you a very Merry Christmas, and I hope that you have a wonderful day. Let's get into this reading, and um, let's see what maybe Christmas has in store, but if you guys are watching this at any other time, these are timeless videos, so you um, are here at the right time when you're supposed to watch it, so it's okay if Christmas is already over for you guys. It'll just be the week ahead from when you're watching the video, okay? So let's get into it with group number one. So I'll just try to move these here without <laughs> anything falling off. Okay, so I'll put the ornament at the front there. Group one. Let's see what we have here. The whip. I'm still fairly new to the Norman, so I've got my book over here. What number is this? 11. The whip. So things that happen, yeah, suddenly, repeatedly, over and over again. So this is sort of like a cycle. It can be an abusive cycle, a negative cycle, but this, because the whip can also be um, quite painful, obviously, if you're getting hit with a whip over and over again. Um, so that is that. Now, in regards to this reading, if you're watching this around Christmas time, of course, something that comes around over and over again is, of course, Christmas, holidays, birthdays, uh, seasonal things and traditions. So this very well could be speaking about that. We'll have a look at your other cards and see how this um, applies, as well as pull some charms for you. Oops. I don't feel like I want to do reversals today with my oracles. Sometimes I do, but um, recently I've been just doing them upright, so um, it's okay to change things around sometimes. It's most important when you're doing readings is to follow your intuition, so when we doubt our intuition, of course, is when we come into trouble. Now, what we have here is somebody, there is a masculine energy, it doesn't always mean a man, but this is most likely a water sign. It could be their sun sign, which is what we are most... Um, familiar with in astrology. It can be also rising or moon signs. So if you don't know um, those, you, there are websites where you can find that out and get your astrological chart or apps as well that are really useful. There's an astrological app. I think it's Astral Gold or something. I have it on the iPad. It's really useful if you're not really um, caught up with astrology and stuff because you can compare your chart with someone else's as well, which is really cool. I'm not sponsored, <laughs> just... Um, yeah, something I thought of. So maybe that's something some of you are looking for at the moment. Um, but what we have here is balance here with our two of pentacles. This can also indicate travel as well. Um, and this is our victory card over here. So there is something good happening. Now with this masculine energy, sometimes when it's a masculine energy, it can either be male or a more what we call like a dominant female energy. But because as a woman, you still have male and female like energy inside you, same as a man. They can be more feminine at times and more masculine at times. So that's just why I'm saying it that way. Anyway, this masculine energy is a very emotional person. They don't show their emotions, though. So this is somebody who keeps like 
everything very close to their chest. They don't really express how they truly feel. Um, but there is a victory here around this particular individual. So that if you're traveling to see somebody, again, if you're watching this around Christmas time, it is appreciated even if this person isn't emotionally showing it to you. Because this is still King of Cups, who's very emotional, you know, in touch with their emotions. However, upside down or in reverse, I should say. Um, this is somebody who isn't expressing their emotions. It can sometimes be someone who is disconnected from their emotions and unaware of it. However, in this particular circumstance with the other cards around, I do feel like they're very aware of their emotions, but they don't express them. Uh, this can be because they're afraid of being judged. I know particularly, particularly with men, when it comes to being... I guess more emotional, what you might call things that are a bit sappy or something like that, you know, watching particularly romantic movies and things. Sometimes they don't feel like it's cool to do that or not appropriate, maybe depending on their friends or how they were brought up, but um, that could be the case for this individual. Also, as a king, it could be somebody who is older than you are. Um, not always, but generally speaking, King of Cups would be like older male. Okay. All right, so victory here. This is a very good sign. We also have that repeating cycles, things that come around, which is good, which is why I am strongly feeling for this group that this is speaking about holidays, traditions, or like I said, this could indicate somebody's birthday. It's just like for me with this and the travel card, there would be something that you do every year at a particular time in this upcoming week um maybe that you were thinking about doing something different or you were worried it wasn't going to work out but this is a victory card here which is very positive energy okay so things are going to work out um even if this person like i said even if you don't feel that they they appreciated what you did whether this was a gift or a gesture or a message or that they didn't get back to you or something like I said a little bit holding back with their emotions on their part so um, it doesn't mean that the message didn't get through they appreciate the effort and they do acknowledge that um, at least energetically here even if they're not going to tell you because I don't think they're the kind of person that would communicate that with you there's definitely victory there so we don't really have to worry uh, too much about this individual okay Moving on to our oracle cards, we have donations, tithing, and charitable works. So um, these are all things that are very important to giving back to the community, basically. Um, I know in Australia, not everyone is what in Australia that watches these videos, but I am in Australia, from Australia. At the moment, there is a lot going on when it comes to charities, donations, and stuff because of the bushfires. I think they just declared another... Um, emergency like statewide emergency thing today so uh, for the next week or whatever because you know bad conditions stuff happening prime minister gone missing all this crazy <laughs> well not gone missing but gone on holidays without telling anyone which is very suspicious anyway um so to me because i'm picking up on that energy with this regardless of your circumstances regardless of the government regardless of your family your school like whoever it is in the way there's certain things that you can do that will actually make a difference to the people around you um so if you have a cause in mind that you're passionate about this is your sign to go for it all right and we have awakening here these are really cute this is the chibi anime angel cards i think that's what it's called um this is Archangel Haniel and this is Awakening. This is also Feminine Energy Venus. So we've got Masculine and Feminine, which is good because we've got the Balance card in between them. So that's good. The yin and yang type of vibe coming through here. Um, the what goes around comes around <laughs> as well a little bit with the whip. So your good deeds will come back to you. may not be in the way that you expected, but it is coming back. Any positive... Um, energy that you put out into the world is actually affecting people again even if you don't get the recognition and validation from them that's no excuse not to do good deeds all right because why are you doing it you don't need validation from somebody else you know you're doing good and you are affecting people in a positive way with that victory card and like i said with the bushfires and stuff here there's a lot of people who are um you know helping people who have lost their homes or who are literally just 
going out to, um, not just going out, I mean, it's the biggest job, volunteering as a firefighter, you know, that's like the most dangerous thing, but there's lots of people doing that, and then, um, it's about utilising the skills that you have to contribute as well, so if you can't say, of, of course I'm using the fire as an example because it's everywhere here, um, if you can't be a firefighter because you don't have the, the build, you're not physically fit enough, or, um, you know, you've got asthma, therefore it's not a good idea for you to be around smoke and all that stuff, um, there are other ways that you can help. For example, tithing, which, well, I guess that we, that's more connected to church, but donations is here, so it's like money, not just money, but it could be donating your time. Uh, this could be other skills, like maybe you can just ask around, uh, again, this could be connected to different, a different cause for you, but there is something that you can do that will contribute to it, even if it's small, even if it's just like babysitting for somebody, you know, so that they can go and do um, something or just like offering somebody some relief in a way. So for some of you, that could literally be babysitting, <laughs> especially I like these chibi cards, they do remind me of kids, so. Um, yeah, and that's also a little girl energy. Here, we've got unicorn, so we've got, um, you are very unique here with this energy. We've also got what looks like a bird, so taking flight, taking action, moving forward with things. That also resonates with this card here. Um, and an awakening, and also this is very freeing. If you see her pose, she's very, like, free, like, announcing things. Um, for some people also, this can just be like informational work, like um, spreading the word for things, you know what I mean? Utilize whatever you can to help in this situation. Of course, this is a general reading, so it's not going to resonate the same for everybody, but there is something here where you're able to make a difference. Like I said, could it be babysitting for someone or, you know, doing a favor for someone at work so they can go on holidays or whatever or you know, as big as what we're going on here in Australia with bushfires or political stuff. Um, and I know that this is happening in a lot of countries at the moment. There is, because we, we, there's like astrologically, I believe, again, I'm not a super expert with astrology, but from what I've gathered and from what I've been feeling just with like the energy that's been going on at the moment, we're sort of transitioning from one major phase to another. Um, and I think it was Capricorn, Saturn in Capricorn, and then going into Saturn in Aquarius. I believe, please don't quote me on that. Um, maybe I'll link down below to, like, verify that information. I'll find another video of someone talking about it. But there's definitely, like, a big shift change energy. There's a bit of a topsy-turvy thing. And you can see this on a global scale happening. Maybe I'll do a video talking a bit more about it after I verify that information, but I believe that's what it is. Okay, but this is affecting us, and there is, there is, like, stuff, there's something that you can do here, okay? And don't worry about anyone who's, like, telling you, you know, that, like, what are you doing? Like, that's not your job, or it's not going to make a big difference, because it is, okay? Even if you just touch one person's life, um, then they go and touch another, and they, you know, in turn affect 50 or thousands or hundreds of thousands of other people like you really don't know what effect you can have and this is very positive as well so it will be to help other people um, and going to our little quote card that I have up here it's love is flower like friendship is like a sheltering tree so providing other animals you know, being the tree and providing something for someone else. Shelter, food, water, that kind of thing, um, is what that's speaking to me again, which is resonating more with my current energy as well. But I do feel like this is more on a global scale. So wherever you are, in some way, there is something that you can do. Like I said, it could just be as um, simple as babysitting or taking care of something for someone else, looking after their animals, or just something small but it, it like helps to shift the world in a more positive way our little actions and being 
um, grateful really is going to help because there's a lot going on in the, just the general energy around us at the moment and we need to really focus on positive things, joyful things. So in the next week, there's a lot of good things coming up to you. And also, if you're not aware of what this is, then during the next week, it's going to come up. And that's when you're going to be aware of, oh, you know, the seed might be planted in your head even just to start thinking about this, which could develop more into 2020. Uh, you know, but if it's something you're supposed to do, it will keep coming around, you know, that nagging feeling and thought. So I hope that this helps you, group number one. Okay, so let's put your little cards away. Also this, <laughs> if you didn't click off already, this one here, Clover, I always, I always see that as good luck. Um, J here, and then we have 11, which is the last number, which means you're on the right track as well. So that's always good to know. Thank you, group number one. Group two. <laughs> I had to think for a second which one was group two. This is group two. Okay. Thank you to everybody who chose group number two. We're going to see what's in your week ahead. Again, I'm recording this at Christmas time, so Christmas does come into this. However, these are timeless videos, so um, while I may make some Christmas references, I will also try to uh, tell you how that energy can also relate when it's not Christmas, but... We're going to get straight into it, so please don't be put off by that. Okay, so your four, blah, blah, blah. your first card is a Lenormand card, and this is the mountain. This is about obstacles, long-term problems, uh, blockages or things that seems like you can't get over it, like that you can't just, like how do you avoid a mountain? You can't really avoid it, it's there. Um, and... I feel like this is stagnant energy for the foreseeable future. You uh, have to deal with something and we're going to have a look at this. Eight is also about growth and prosperity. So the reason that this obstacle is here and it's going to take hard uh, like effort and cooperation with others to overcome this obstacle, because this is a three up here as well. I'm just stepping into some of the numerology energy if you're wondering what I was doing. But um, as the clover suit for me is good luck, this is something that's for your greatest and highest good. I'm sorry if this is frustrating for you. This happens a lot. You've been blocked from a certain thing or a door has been shut in your face as an obstacle like you didn't get that job or whatever it is. It wasn't meant for you. There's something else you're supposed to be doing that you've been ignoring. This obstacle or this issue needs to be tackled all right and the best way to do it will be to work with other people. So that could be learning from other people's experiences. Let's just get into your other cards as well so that we can see everything. Right. Oh, um, devil is temptation. Okay, so you have been tempted to either, and this could be connected to your obstacle. Is this a bad habit, a long-term problem that needs to be addressed? Um, are we trying to take a shortcut or the easy way out of a solution? I do feel like, again, three people pitch it here. And here's the four of wands, which is good. So um, this upright means a really nice environment around you, a supportive environment. Also, a wedding is pictured here. So maybe that's something that we're preparing for for some of you. Um, but again, this is coming up for the Christmas week. So, oh, and this one definitely reminds me of Christmas. Again, uh Whenever you're meant to watch this is when this will apply to you. So a celebration such as birthday, wedding, Christmas, um, an event where people get together, which is pictured in more than one of these cards, which is good. Be careful of anyone who's drinking too much. Um, this also can indicate, you know, a need to be separated to rest and relax, meditate and really think about what you're doing and at least for one person around you, if this isn't you, but uh, it would be someone kind of ignoring the fact that they need to step back from this issue. So in regards to that celebration here, it could just be someone who's either eating too much, drinking too much, or doing too much of something they shouldn't, or acting impulsively and speaking before thinking, that kind of thing. Um, there is an element to con of control here, but also... Uh, the people who are under the devil's control in the particular devil card here and in other decks, usually it's indicated where 
you can easily slip the chain off or, t or remove yourself. So this means that it's a free will choice and this doesn't have to happen. So it's good that you've um, had this reading if this does indicate you. However, if this doesn't indicate someone else, they have a choice, they're aware, and they're basically... Eventually they're going to get to a point where they have to address it, but you don't have to allow that kind of stuff in your life, depending on what this is and the severity of it. As always, general reading, so it's going to apply a bit differently to some of you guys. Um, the most important thing is that your environment, your home life, um, and your community, that your general energy is good. All right? So that's good. Protected from this type of energy. All right. Uh, coming down here, we've got positive, positivity, faith, and optimism. So definitely um, being more optimistic about things. I'll hold it up so you can kind of see. Uh, this one, this kind of does remind me of like Noah's Ark or you know baby Jesus in the in the manger again referring to Christmas as it's Christmas week coming up but um yeah with like all the animals gathering around they're very calm they're very like they almost look like you could talk to them kind of thing um maybe there is an animal connection the lamb here is like something new innocence um and see the lion protecting the lamb in this case all right so that's very interesting. Uh, we also have, you open the doorway to positive experiences and opportunities with your positive expectations and energy. Don't allow negative energy or temporary setbacks <laughs> um, to interfere. I'm sorry, I'm laughing. I'm not laughing at you. It's just that this is validating this. So, okay. Don't allow negative energy or temporary setbacks, which... As again, this could be as a result of somebody else's long-term problem. Um, to interfere with the path that you're on. So again, we're keeping our energy and our vibe good. And our, um, you know, protecting our space. Don't allow it to interfere with the path that you are on. Keep the faith and keep going. So you're on the right path. Which is good. Um, again... I do strongly feel like if, to help you with this, bringing somebody else in. So that could be like a counsellor or something if this is an issue with alcohol or whatever. You know, get having that person with a sponsor or something. like. Um, it's not just somebody who struggles with an addiction, mental health or some sort of problem that goes with through it. Their family does as well. So that's just saying, hey, maybe you could use somebody else's point of view on this situation. Again, this could resonate in a few different ways because this is a general reading and um over here we have healing which is over the top of this card of our environment so that's good um making sure that you can the sun here which is masculine energy but also expansion and growth Raphael, definitely the healing angel uh, now i'm not a doctor i can't comment on those things but when it comes to medical stuff i will just say Raphael is the angel for that um so if you are really struggling with any sort of issue, definitely call on Archangel Raphael. Just say, you know, please help me with this. And this can also be heart healing because this is also green. Raphael's energy is definitely green, which is healing also, yeah, and heart energy and love. So um, approach this situation with love. Uh, if you find yourself getting frustrated and not able to approach it from that way, remove yourself from it and protect your space get some perspective and then, you know, come back, try again. Again, you can have other people help you, but this is for your own growth and prosperity. So there's definitely a lesson in here for you. And with that major kind of card that kind of verifies that because that's about soul growth and your spiritual journey and your life path. So um, we definitely have something interesting coming up this week. Uh, that's, yeah. You're just, you're going to protect your space. I do feel like that good things are going to happen, but I don't want you to worry too much about this mountain. Um, my advice with the mountain is not to tackle it alone. Try to, maybe even just talking to someone, again, gaining another perspective on a situation can help you to really shift this energy because this isn't something that's just going to go on away, away on its own go on away on its own what am I saying it's not something that's going to go away on its own it does need to be addressed in some way but we are 
also protecting our own energy and our space and keeping this positive and light so that we can, you know, rest and recuperate. Because when our home is stressful, it can be hard even when we go to sleep to, you know, even like recover the way that we need to to deal with the day. Like that kind of negative energy does tend to seep in a bit. So uh, for some of you, this could indicate cleansing your space with like polysanto sage or some sort of... Um, Sometimes you can just use water if you literally have nothing else pray and pray over it, set your intentions, put it in a, you know, a spray bottle and hold on to it and, and then spray that around. Um, you know, don't do anything outside of your budget in regards to cleansing. Just use what you have or like I said, if you do have like sage, polysanto or other cleansing muscle, mess, what methods, not muscles. I don't know what a muscle is. Do you guys know what a muscle is? <laughs> I hope it's not anything rude. Uh, yeah, crystals. Um, also, if you have crystals, maybe cleanse them out in the moonlight or with water. Not this one here. This, um, what's it called? Selenite. Don't ever put selenite in water. It dissolves. So be aware of that with your crystals somehow to look after them. But there is healing energy here. Good vibes, celebrations. Um, and there is connections with animals so I don't know if some of you guys if you're watching this around Christmas are going to buy your animals a gift or if this is a reminder to do that um even if it's just getting them like fresh meat or something like depending on what animal it is obviously you might give them a new toy if it's a bird or um you may just spend time with them or if you have carols on tv or something maybe your animals will sit with you through that um also animals to me do connect strongly with children there is some sort of um nurturing energy going around this week and healing for you okay so thank you for watching this reading if you would like a personalized reading please go to my etsy store um if you can't afford that of course i do have lots of picky card readings on my channel and i will make more of them so if you have a specific request for a picket card reading you can leave it in the comments i do have an etsy option where you can kind of sponsor or or donate to um for a picky card reading it's like i think it's ten dollars or something like that where i will make sure that i get to it but as always it's not necessary you don't have to do it it does help support um my channel and myself and my business but um that's what these picky card readings are here for. So even if you don't have any money, you don't have a lot of resources. Like I said, cleansing with water. Like literally, it's a thing. You can manifest with water as well. There's lots of things you can do with... Um, and water is very important. <laughs> you know, not everyone has it. Oh, in a lot of places here, we're running out of it. So, you know, even in Australia, it's pretty tough. But use what you have. Utilize what you have. And um, be grateful for what you have too. Okay, but if you would like to view any other picky card readings, they're on my channel. And I'll see you in the next video, group number two. Okay, group three, welcome for your reading. If you chose this really lovely bauble, our golden red bauble. Oops, let me put it there. Then this is your reading. This is the coffin, I believe. I do have my book over here for Lenormand because I am still getting to know it. So that's why I've put one in each. Yes, it is the coffin. One in each uh, reading as well. As well as using them on my own. This is a really good way to uh, utilize them. Now, eight is about growth, prosperity. Nine is about the end of a cycle. So this could be the end of a very prosperous cycle for you. But going to the coffin's meaning, this is putting things to rest and ending things that need to be, you know, ended. This is a slow, drawn-out thing. So, again, this may be connected to work as well with that eight. I'm going to pop in here. And we're going to look at your cards. Ooh, Queen of Cups. I was just having a quick look. What else do you say about the coffin? can indicate illnesses, being a bit depressed, you know, death, transformation, something you've forgotten about that needs to be <laughs> dealt with. But this is like the slow ending here. Interesting, because you've got Queen of Cups, so this is a 
potential water sign female isn't always necessarily female. We all have masculine and feminine energy in us, but um, this is a Queen of Cups. So their personality would be a Queen of Cups. It could potentially be water sign, like I said. So that could be your sun sign, moon sign, or ascending sign. If you don't know what that is, there are websites where you can look that up. All right, because sometimes, and more often than not, we do present to others as our moon or rising sign, more so than our sun sign, okay? Um, so, we... Ooh. Here we go. You're doing well financially, most of you, or this could be that this person here is doing well because we have ten of coins here but this is also about like our environment our community being um satisfied or content is more the word that i'm looking for i was like what is that word content <laughs> that's the word um as you can see there's kind of these two people coming home here we've got the house in the oops got the house in the background um and she, this lady's kind of looking at them like, what mischief have you been up to? So I don't know if that's that water sign female. Is this your mother? Who's like, what have you been doing? Have you been running off and getting into mischief again? Um, there's definitely an end of a cycle. And this to me does feel more connected to work because this is like you need to change your perspective. There's something that you, I feel like you know about it, but you're just choosing to kind of, you know, put it off a little bit more than what you should. Um, it needs to be acknowledged, this situation. So it's a change of perspective that needs to happen. Instead of staying in your own bubble, there's more that's going on. So this could just be old ideas and um, like a mindset connected to work or how you make money. Um, it could even just be like, oh, I'm only good at this. I can only do this sort of job. Maybe you need to change your perspective. Maybe there's a ending coming up and a gradual ending. So if this is connected to an ending of a job, this would be something that you know about that happens slowly or you'll be given um, information about and you're not going to get suddenly fired. OK, so I don't want you to worry about that. But to me, this is definitely more mental um, and a change of perspective that needs to happen on your behalf there is this female energy here who is concerned about you who can kind of see this she can kind of see the big picture so if you want to talk to her about it I think you should, there is some truth in what she has been saying to you all right but there's definitely that type of energy around now self-esteem here I do feel like again when we get stuck in cycles and I, like I was saying with the job and maybe it's not connected to job maybe it's more school maybe this is just a bad habit that you've got but sometimes we kind of keep in the same cycle because we're like I'm not good enough you know I can't do that job I'm not talented enough I don't have these skills like what do you mean I can't be an artist I've never drawn in my life well you know what you can you can start now but um, the thing is, a lot of us get stuck in thinking we have to present ourselves to others as being super professional and know what we're doing. Um, like I've said with the Lenormand, I'm like, I'm new to Lenormand. I'm going to be starting to use at least like one card here and there in readings. And I'm going to refer to the book and I'm going to tell you that so that you know. Um, but there's a lot of information I can pull from this card even without looking at the book. But, I, you know, I'm letting you know, like, hey, I've got I've got a little cheat sheet over here to help me to broaden my horizon so that my knowledge and uh, my readings can be as accurate as possible because that's always the goal it's not about me being right I'm happy for someone to say hey you know um this wasn't quite right or or you know to correct me on stuff human error happens all the time but for you it's the same sort of thing like acknowledge don't just come across as oh my gosh I'm a professional artist when you have never I'm sorry I don't know where that accent come from or what it was supposed to be a uh, green eyes also I'm drawn to that so Raphael again green eyes may be relevant maybe that's this woman here maybe that's you maybe you'll be meeting someone with green eyes coming up soon is going to help you enter this new cycle but in the next week we're definitely Mm, you know this is something that's been coming for a long time and also it can just be we're going on holidays as well because like you've been waiting for it for a long time a long drawn out ending for something for a contract um 
Now, <laughs> I was like, which card am I looking at? This one. This is the one we haven't got to yet. So, raise or promotion. Work, like I said, going good financially. So, if you've got these dreams, it's definitely there. You're being promoted to a new level. Do you know what? Sometimes promotion on a spiritual level doesn't actually mean an increase in income. Just putting that out there for some of you. Sometimes it just means you're doing what's morally right for you. What's on your compass, where you want to go. And you've leveled up because you're in a better state. Like, just energetically, physically, like mentally, emotionally. So there's definitely like a level up. Um, for some of you, this could be like leaving a partner or a situation that you know has been over or a friendship that has been over for a really long time um, and leaving it even if you're by yourself it's like well this is a promotion like wow like I just feel so much better for, for others of you yes it will actually be a promotion again with that ten of coins here and a bit more money during this particular season of Christmas again we can get extra coin because there's holiday hours, depending on what work you're in. I know some of us, everything closes for Christmas and it's the opposite. Um, so be careful of your spendings as well. Stay within your means. But we're going to read this card. So congratulations, an increase in your abundance flow awaits you. So this is also a card of good luck, good things happening, like weird coincidental friendships and things just falling in your lap. Um, this is a result of your positive focus and willingness to take action based on your divine guidance keep up the good work so you've been following that um your intuition that sort of internal compass on where to go so this is saying congratulations for doing that because it's going to pay off you may need that shift in perspective here in order to finalize the um this cycle in your life that's all really that I'm seeing that it's going to take from you. It's a change in perspective and then things are going to shift. And then this is like, okay, we've put this to rest and we're moving on to um, bigger and better things. Definitely you're going to be seeing a lot of growth coming up after the next week. Um, but this, speaking of the week ahead, as I know, it's only seven days. So what we're really addressing, I feel like, is the shift in your perspective primarily. And then this is kind of like the knock-on effect it's going to have for you. Be aware of your self-esteem. Are you allowing negative people and situations in your life because you don't feel, you know, oh, I can't say no, or they won't hang out with me or whatever. You know, are you allowing that type of energy in? We're going to become more aware of that. And we need to shift our perspective and protect our own energy here. All right, because you are going to do a lot of, like, you'll have more love to give too as well. If you keep spending it, just kind of feel like, think of it as currency almost, your time, like money. If you had, if it was costing you money, every hour was like a hundred dollars, say, you, then you'll be thinking, oh, I could have been doing this, that was two hundred dollars, you know, is it worth that investment? I know that won't resonate for all of you, but for some of you it will, like there's a change in how we're thinking here. It's going to get you in a better place with looking after yourself, your mental health, your self-esteem, starting to uh, acknowledge a few things that you've been letting in that need to, you know, we need to cut that out. Other people with like energy vampires, people who may have been taking from you a bit too much um, and who aren't really appreciating you, who are basically just using you. That happens to everybody, but there, there could be a little bit of that and healing is coming as well. This is like that medicine symbol here on that mirror. And of course, because he's holding up a mirror, it can be reflecting back on past behavior as well with some situations. But um, that's basically where I feel this week is leading you, change in perspective. There is this feminine figure or feminine energy, I should say, who is looking out for you. To me, it does seem like a motherly type figure. It could be like big sister, could be your boss, or just somebody who has the right... Like, they have good intentions when it comes to your well-being, and um, maybe you've been ignoring them, but there is some truth in what they have to say. So 
maybe try to sit back a little bit emotionally and be like, oh, see things from someone else's point of view and it'll help, um, you know, raise and promote your energy, your self-esteem, you being your authentic self and living a, a truly, ha like, happy life, which is um, ultimately what you want. So I hope that helps you, group number three. Thank you so much for watching this reading today. I actually was going to use charms and then I didn't end up doing that, so um sorry about that so i hope that you guys enjoyed this video today if you want to book a personal reading you can do so the link's in the description below i have more pick a card readings on my channel though if you're someone who either just enjoys watching my videos or can't afford a personal reading that's okay and you can have a look on my channel for different topics if there's a topic i haven't covered yet please leave a comment i was going to say in the description but that makes no sense at all just leave a comment and let me know your suggestion. I don't guarantee that I'll get to every suggestion, but um, how am I supposed to know that that's something you're interested in if you don't tell me? So, uh, yeah, I'm happy for you to do that. So don't get annoyed at anyone in the comments suggesting things. I encourage it. It's perfectly fine. And I will see you guys in the next video. I wish you a really happy Christmas. I hope everything goes well for you. Uh, let me know how this resonated as well at the end of the week, and then we'll come back and um I guess I should do more of these readings so that we can come back and have a look at another week coming up so I hope that you enjoy this reading I wish you all the best and I'll see you next time Merry Christmas bye bye